welcome back to another video uh, this is the continuation of flutter animation series in the previous video uh, we initialized our animation controller and in this video we will make the container to animate uh, just like in the sample video the colors inside the container is animating after a few seconds and uh, after that uh, we will put the image in front of the circle and then we will move towards the bubbles that are animating so without any further delay uh, what we want here we want to replace that code uh, and in in child uh, we will pass animated builder animated uh, builder uh, takes two properties uh, first one is the animation that represents the controller and we will put our controller animation controller and second one is the builder which also takes two properties uh, first one will be the context uh, that will be of our widget and second one is the child and uh, uh, let's put a comma at the end of our curly braces and uh, indent our code uh, now in the curly braces uh, we will return a decoration box uh, inside decoration box uh, they, we will provide the box decoration uh, this one is the same as for a simple container inside this we can provide the gradient or the shape of the container first of all we will give it a shape uh, we will uh, give it a shape box shape dot circle so this will give our container a circled shape uh, because we have removed our previous code uh, in order to check that our code is working let's uh, give a color a custom color white and now if we reload our project uh, you can see that uh, the gradient is removed and the white color is given to the container so uh, let's give it a gradient now uh, for linear gradient we will provide a list of colors as we have done in our previous steps uh, for this purpose we will use colors dot blue and give it a shade of 500 and as far as the second color goes we will use colors dot purple with a shade of 300 and we will put exclamation mark at the end of the shade value i have explained this in the previous video you can go and check this why are we using exclamation mark and now after providing the colors uh, let's reload our project uh, as you can see that the gradient is working fine but what we want to do is we want to animate these colors uh, so for that purpose uh, we will use begin and inside begin uh, we will uh, use our variable that we have defined before is animated gradient and if the is animated gradient is true uh, we want to align our color at the top left and if it is false we want it to uh, align at the bottom left alignment dot uh, bottom left now uh, same goes for the end of the colors uh, for end we will uh, check if the is animated gradient is true then we set it as uh, the bottom alignment dot bottom right and if the uh, animated gradient is false uh, then we will set it equal to uh, alignment dot top right uh, now uh, after setting the alignment dot top right and if we uh, rearrange our code and then if we reload our project uh, you can see that the colors are animating after every one second but uh, we have provided only two colors for linear gradient so it doesn't look uh, much beautiful uh, to make it more aesthetic we can give it a third color with colors dot white and now look after the reload uh, the gradient is looking uh, more elegant uh, so after that uh, now we will start working on bubbles uh, the bubbles that are animating on the screen for this purpose uh, let's uh, comment our code for the image that we are showing on the container uh, so we can easily uh, see the changes while we are coding what we want to achieve is we want to show bubbles uh, throughout the container uh, that will move uh, forward and backward uh, so for that purpose let's uh, take a look on the sample video uh, like in this video as you can see that the bubbles are moving from uh, one side to another side and repeating their uh, formation so what we want to do is uh, first of all uh, we would wrap our uh, animation builder inside a stack uh, for that we can uh, take the easy approach and first wrap into a column and then rename our column into a stack so now and we have to wrap the animation builder uh, inside a position dot fill uh, so it covers the whole space uh, inside our size box now as you can see after reloading our code is working fine after that uh, let's uh, put a comment here uh, here we will show the bubbles view 
so for a bubbles view file there will be a lot of code uh, so let's create a new file inside the components here in the components let's create a new dart file uh, with the name of a uh, bubble view animation so inside uh, this file uh, we will use stateful widget for this we can if we type stf uh, it will uh, give us a option to create the stateful widget and we will name it as a bubble view animation to remove the errors we will import material library and now as uh, we did in the custom circle view uh, we extended the class uh, with a single ticker provider state mixer we will do the same in this case uh, we will extend our class with ticker provider state mixing so now let's create the methods uh, first we are going to use first of all uh, we want to uh, get the random number of circles on the screen uh, when we are trying to animate them for that purpose we will use random library uh, that is a part of uh, dart math library now if we use its method dot next int and provide a digit inside it for example if we provide a 7 uh, then it will return a integer between 0 to 6 so the number of circles on the screen will be between 0 to 6 and after that we will initialize a boolean with the name of is animating and uh, uh, we will set it to false and now uh, we will uh, create a method in which we will define the coordinates of the bubbles that are moving on the screen for this purpose we will use a return type double and we will name our function uh, random coordinate uh, let's remove it and set our spelling uh, we will uh, use random coordinate and uh, we will use uh, a double value of a container size uh, as a parameter double container size and we will return a double value uh, for this we will use a random a random uh, dot next double uh, we are not going to use integer in case because we are returning a double value so let's replace it with next uh, double and we will multiply it with the container size that we are getting in the parameters above uh, so after uh, this method what we do is we will replace our placeholder code uh, with a size box of width 300 and height of 300 and uh, for the child we will use a stack widget and uh, the, for the children of stack widget we will use a list dot generate and we will return the uh, animated uh, position uh, widget inside animated position widget we will give a duration of uh, 2000 milliseconds uh, which is equal to 2 seconds and uh, for the child we will use animated opacity and for the animated opacity it goes uh, the same we will use the same duration of 2000 millisecond and uh, for opacity uh, the we have uh, defined a variable above uh, with the name of is animating if is animating is true then we will give a opacity of 0 0.25 and if it is false we will uh, give we will give a value of 0, 0.0 now uh, let's uh, remove the yellow warnings by adding constant and instead of length we will use here uh, the random circle uh, the method we used above uh, that uh, wa that was uh, giving us a value between 0 to 6 let's add a return in the start of animated position widget uh, for animating our bubbles uh, we will uh, give it a curve uh, we will use curves dot is in out now for the animated uh, position widget we will define uh, the left and the top uh, from where our bubbles uh, will generate so now uh, for the left we will check if the is animating uh, variable is true if it is true then we will use a random coordinate uh, method that we have defined above uh, which take uh, a container size of uh, value of uh, the type double so now uh, what we do is uh, we will uh, give it the width of our media query and minus the random size uh, that we are generating above and if the value of the is animating is false uh, then we will uh, give the total 300 uh, width that we have of our size box and divide it by 2 same uh, code we will use for uh, the top and replace this left uh, with the top what it will do is uh, the, it will generate bubbles uh, by giving a space of uh, 150 if it is false from the left and 150 from the top 
uh, what it will do is it will stretch our bubbles uh, throughout the container now for the animated opacity we will give it a child animated container with a duration of uh, same as we given above uh, 2000 milliseconds animated container is uh, representing uh, the bubbles that are going to be shown on the screen uh, for the width we will use is animating variable if it's true then we'll give it a random size if it's not uh, we will uh, set the width equal to zero and same goes for the height if the is animating is true we will provide the random size as uh, 0, 0.0 now for the child uh, we will uh, pass a simple container and inside container we will give a decoration uh, box decoration and we will firstly uh, give a shape to our bubbles uh, we will use box shape dot circle and after that we will define the color that will give to our bubbles which will be custom color white so let's remove the warnings uh, by adding the constant at the start of box decoration so that's it for now in the next video we will define a method in which we will trigger our is animating variable and set its value to true or false so that after some duration a bubble animation can repeat itself so please make sure to like this video and subscribe to my youtube channel we will complete the remaining application in the upcoming videos thank you so much